Hey guys, it's Jay here. Today's date is the 25th of the 8th, 2015, and I am roughly four months and three weeks on tea. I just went and got my third shot this morning, so uh, <laughs> that was interesting. I had another doctor due to my doctor being away on annual leave, and she had very little to do with um, transgender people, so when I went in there to get my shot, uh, she was fine with administrating it because she had administrated testosterone to um, cis men that had problems with their testosterone levels, so she's okay with injecting it. But she had a lot of questions about being trans. Um, it kind of spun me out a bit because she is a medical practitioner and the way she was asking the questions had no professional value about it whatsoever. So, you know, before she gives me my injection, she goes, oh, you know, can I just ask you a question? I said, yeah, sure, go for it. And, and she's like, oh, has your voice always been like this or is it due to hormones? I said, well, yeah, it's due to hormones. I said, it's still high pitched, but it's deepening as weeks go by. And then she just started rolling on with all these questions like, so um, have you had surgery? No. Are you going to get bottom surgery? Uh, no. And just all these questions like about pictorial growth, hair growth, are my boobs changing? Like she had no idea whatsoever about being trans and she's also asking me about when I use males toilets how do I pass in males toilets obviously because I don't have a penis and so you know I answer the questions as best as I could and you know it it was fine it was just it kind of blew me out but it also made, made me realize um no matter what someone's profession is it although she's a doctor it doesn't mean she knows anything about transgender people and she probably doesn't know anything about a lot of other stuff too but it just um it was a strange morning but it was okay um so the last couple of weeks not much has happened in my life it's just the same old same old um i have found that male pronouns are starting to be used just a little bit more than female pronouns it depends like i find with women they see me as male and men see me as female. So I went and got some new glasses the other day and I walked in and the male guy at Specsavers is like, hey, miss, how can I help you today? And I was like, oh, really? And he's addressed me as miss the whole time. I didn't say anything so I couldn't be bothered running through the whole, actually, it's sir or mister and why and da, 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 da. So I just let it slide at the moment. But then I'll go to another store and... A female like hey mate what's up and we use male pronouns so it's very interesting how the opposite sex like perceives things differently it's very bizarre but at work a lot of people are starting to use um, he instead of she they are starting to correct themselves which is pretty cool um, I did stick a status up on Facebook asking people to start using male pronouns I had a chat to my partner the other day that she also needs to start enforcing male pronouns. She doesn't do it on purpose. Um, she was talking to her dad the other day and he asked what I was doing and you know I heard her say, oh, she's washing the car and her father's correcting him saying, oh, it's he. So, But, you know, she said it's so it doesn't make other people feel awkward and uncomfortable, but I stressed to her that it makes me feel awkward and uncomfortable because I am transitioning to male and I want to be recognised as male. So we have to make an effort, well, she has to make an effort to start using male pronouns on a more regular basis. But it's hard for her because she has known me for a year and a half, two years as female. So she has to adjust her headspace to using male pronouns and adjust her headspace that she has a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, that she's now straight, not gay. So... There's a lot of things that my partner is dealing with this week as well with um, the changes because the changes are starting to happen quicker. So um, facial hair is starting to come through thicker than what it was two weeks ago. The stomach hair is starting to really fill in. Um, my arm hair is getting thicker and darker too. So um, the hormones are really starting to take effect. Um, four months on tea, like I just said, um, I'm hoping... Now that I just got the shot today, that in the next week my voice will drop a little bit more because if this is as deep as it goes, I'm going to have problems passing as male in the future because it's still recognisable as a female voice. It's still quite high-pitched 
and it's probably my biggest giveaway when I'm out in public and I start talking to people they're like oh sorry I thought you were a he as soon as I open my mouth up it sounds like I sound like a girl so to me I sound a lot deeper than what I was pretty but um, still probably not deep enough to pass um, let's have a look at my throat as I'm talking to you you know I don't think I would be getting an Adam's apple because I am 34 years old and I think you get an Adam's apple if you start your hormones at a lower age like 18 19 you get more um, yeah more growth in your throat and shoulders and shit like that but I'm feeling pretty good about how I'm appearing I'm feeling pretty good about how I'm sounding and overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with how everything's going um, I haven't got a lot to talk about this week I just wanted to talk about the pronoun thing um, the importance that people close to you are aware that using male pronouns is a big part of transitioning because you don't want to be transitioning and someone keeps calling you she 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 because your trigger points are so sensitive on certain days that it wouldn't take much to set you off so um, I'm hoping after putting the status on Facebook and having a chat to my partner last night or the night before about using the correct pronouns that things will start being pronounced better and I won't feel so uncomfortable um, I am gaining size faster so for the guys out there that are binding um, I ordered a couple of small binders from um, G2B and that was about four months ago yeah four months ago um, they're now too small so two weeks ago I ordered size mediums and they're taking their time to get here as they always do but it's very very hard to bind with a binder that's too small it's very uncomfortable it's very restricting so my word of advice is if you know you're gaining size plan ahead get some binders that are bigger don't leave it to the last minute like I did because now I'm binding and I'm really pushing around here because there's not much room for my chest obviously you need more space so plan ahead um, also I need to go and buy some new jeans because my jeans aren't sitting right anymore uh, t-shirts are starting to pinch a bit so that's definitely showing me that I'm gaining size I could probably gain size faster if I went to the gym a bit more but um, it's a bit hard sometimes with work and all that anyway I just wanted to make a quick video and say hi um, to people that are following and once again thank you for following um, yeah not much to talk about so just keep safe and I'll see you soon bye bye